Hi everyone, I'm Lisbeth. Thank you for tuning in on Morse Home Yoga. This video is all about the feet. It's just a small sequence, a few little exercises to take good care of your feet. Um, our dear feet, they carry us around all life. And for some of us, for some of us uh, as well, they carry our babies uh, for a period of time. And, uh, and we might sometimes have a tendency to forget about those feet until maybe they start hurt or like uh, the skin is cracking or whatever's going on. Um, so, uh, so this is just a reminder to take good care of your feet. Uh, it doesn't take too long, but it, uh, it can make a difference. So find yourself a comfortable seated position. We'll just start with a few deep breaths to just settle here in this space. So just make sure you're comfortable, however you like to sit. You can let your hands rest to your thighs. Close your eyes. And let your attention drift a bit deeper inwards. Take a deep breath in by your nose. And a long, slow breath out your mouth. Deep breath in to fill you up. And a long, slow breath out, softening, relax. Deep breath in. And a long, slow breath out. Just simply allow your breath to move you. Every inhale, fill you up, create some space. And every exhale, softening, letting go of any tension you might hold in your body. On your next inhale, you let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top, bring your palms together, close your eyes, and bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Take another deep breath in. And a long, slow breath out. Simply notice your heart pumping. And then let your hands rest to your thighs. And again, you can gently open your eyes. From here, you, you stretch your legs out in front of you. And then you bend your right leg in, letting your right leg rest over your left leg. And then with your left hand, excuse me, you're going to interlace your fingers between your toes. And if you don't do that often, it might take a little while to dig in those fingers between the toes. But just go easy, take your time, gently, gently work your fingers in between the toes. It actually feels quite nice once you're there to spread out the toes a little bit. Just gently dig your fingers in and make sure you sit comfortably. Remind yourself of a good position, relaxing your shoulders and keep your breath flowing, even though you're focusing, concentrating on the feet. So you bring your fingers between your feet and then you just gently start just stretching out your foot a little bit. Like stretch your toes, you pull a bit towards the left, you pull a bit towards the right. So you kind of stretch the toes a little and the foot. Just a bit of movement here. And keep your breath flowing nice and easy. Just a bit of stretch, a bit of movement. You can kind of pull your toes a little bit if that feels good without like really pulling hard. Just gently kind of stretch them out a little. Sometimes you might hear a little, a little air popping or crack in your toes, but nothing 
nothing serious, nothing dangerous, just just because of the stretch, the movement here. Nice and easy. A few deep breaths. And then you start drawing circles with your foot. Slow pace, nice and easy. First one direction. Relaxing your foot joint as much as you can. So you can really just move the foot around here a little bit. One way, nice and easy. Keep the rest of your body nice and relaxed and your breath flowing. Just a bit of movement here because often we just move our foot joint this way up and down. But it can move in so many directions and often we don't really use it. So it's nice sometimes to, to do move differently than you normally do every day. And then you can change direction. You move a little bit the opposite way, nice and easy. And just breathe. Just enjoy taking care of your feet. Again, you can stop this movement. Maybe once more, you stretch a bit to the right, a bit to the left, pull your toes a little bit. And then you can integrate the right hand as well. So you can, for instance, you can grab around your heel and then you have your left hand here on the top of your foot and your toes. And then you can make small little twists if it feels good. Like you wanted to twist a cloth or uh, like you're twisting your spine, we often do that lying down. So you can kind of twist your foot here a little bit, like you would pull water, you would uh, twist water, squeeze water out of a cloth, twist one way and then the other, just nice and easy. And if it feels too much, then don't do it. Just stay nice and easy. Do something else, just like warm your foot a little bit. Push a little bit here and there, what feels good. Stimulate different parts. But if it feels nice, just a few times. Twisting one way and the other. And then from here, just touch your foot. However it feels good here. Just a bit of stimuli, different parts. And you don't have to know a lot about flexiology or anything. You just really do intuitively what feels good. Maybe it feels nice to kind of hold around your heel or maybe the arch of your foot, the top, the ankle. Kind of just warm your foot. Give it a bit of attention, a bit of care. Just simply how it feels good. Maybe up your Achilles tendon a little bit, if that feels good. And just breathe and deep. And again, maybe pull your toes, your foot to the right and to the left a few times. And then you pull towards the left and keep pulling your toes a little bit here. And eventually so much you let your fingers glide out from between your toes. And again, stretching out your right leg in front of you. Just notice how does it feel in your two feet, all your toes. Do you feel a difference? I can both see and feel a difference in my feet. I don't know what sensation you have, but I feel my right foot is a bit lighter, it's warmer, more alive. And, uh, and the opposite about the left. So it feels good. I hope it feels good to you as well. So then we do the opposite side. So you bend in your, your left leg, let your left foot rest to the right leg and interlace your right fingers between your left foot. And maybe there's a difference between the two feet, often there is, but maybe it's also different 
how easy it is to glide your fingers in between your toes. So just take your time. You don't want to force anything for you. You want to work it, work it there, nice and easy. Make sure you still sit comfortably and your breath is flowing. And then you slowly start, same thing. First, you just kind of pull a bit towards the right, stretching your toes, your foot. The opposite way, and if you feel a lot of soreness, really go easy on yourself, go easy on your feet. Just take it nice and slow. Take the breaks you need, do it gentle. Breathe in. Just a few times in your own pace. And same thing here, you might hear the little foot or toe joints like cracking, popping a little bit as you do it. Nothing serious, nothing bad. If it hurts, just take it easy. I think we all know sometimes our joint is cracking just randomly. And then you start drawing circles, first one way, nice and easy, slow pace. And make sure you're very mindful when you do this. You feel the whole movement, you don't just do it and your head is somewhere else, but really feel what you're doing. Feel what's going on in your foot. <sighs> Be present in the moves you make. And it will make a big difference. You're focused on feeling what's going on. And responding. Just nice and easy one way. And if you feel like you're tightening up your joint, just take a break, maybe shake the foot a little bit, make sure it relaxes. And once again, you can start drawing circles. Sometimes it can be hard to just relax, either the arm or the foot, any joint, kind of hold it. So um, just pause, shake it, and start over again, like a reset. And then a few times the opposite way, nice and easy. Make sure you breathe, slow, deep breath. And then again, you stop this movement, maybe you stretch a bit right, a bit left again. And then you integrate your left hand. You can do the twist, like the squeezing water out of a cloth. You're twisting the one hand one way, and the opposite the opposite way. But again, just make sure you listen to your body. If it feels good, you do it. If it doesn't feel good, you don't do it. You do something else. But it might feel good, a bit of twisting here. As I said, just like twisting the spine, it's so good. Increase the blood flow, release, and let the energy flow. Just a few times. And then from here, just kind of touch and squeeze and warm the foot. Different stimulations, how it feels good. Might feel good to gently push in your arch of your foot. Maybe there's some soreness some places. Just be nice and gentle. And as I said, you don't have to be a specialist in flexiology, I think it's called, right? Uh, in Danish, you call it sonotepi. Um, because we don't go deep into that. You just kind of go with your intuition and just give your foot a little bit of attention, a little bit of care, a little bit of love, and it feels good. Maybe a bit up your ankle joint, your Achilles tendon. Just simply go with what feels nice and, and comfortable here.
And maybe again, stretch a bit to the right, a bit to the left. And then pull a bit towards the right, pull your toes a little bit. And eventually letting your, your fingers glide out from between your toes. Bring your legs out in front of you. Hands back behind you, maybe stretch your back a little here, it might feel good. And then feel the both feet, all ten toes. How does it feel now? Hopefully it's super good. And um, it's actually very nice to do it in the beginning of a yoga practice before you get to your feet, like in down dog and warrior poses and all these different standing on your feet, balancing on your feet poses. You have a different sensation in your feet, a different connection, and, um, and it feels amazing. So um, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope it works for you. You can do it longer time, shorter time. Just the fact that you take a moment to focus on your dear feet and give them some love. Enjoy and see you soon. Thank you for watching Mose Home Yoga. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also on our website moseholmyoga.com, you can subscribe to our newsletter.